So one of our psychopathic cats has managed to get themselves trapped inside a quilt cover whilst I'm in bed. At least I hope it's one of our cats. You flipping idiot, what are you doing? What are you doing? How are you going to get out of this? Seriously? Any plans? <laughs> like, how? How have you done this? And for once it's not Hazel because she's sat at the bottom of the bed looking really confused. Hello, little kitten. Are you in there? Kitten? Kitten? Is it a kitten or is it Loki? Jesus Christ, kitten. Right, you're going to need to get out of the bed now. Well, you can't live in there. <laughs> Like, seriously, you need to come out. <laughs> Hazel, watch out the way. Right, seriously, where are you? Right, look, the bottom of the quilt is this way. Look, this way. This way. Yeah, look, dipshit, this way. Get out! <laughs> Thank you! Hello! Hi! We're at, we're at um, the climbing centre and we've decided we can't climb. No, not at all. We decided to come with the guys for the first time ever and it's a competition day and we were like, we might get some points. Give it a go, why not? Mm -mm. No, we, we know. It's a bad idea. We're currently being embarrassed by small children. <laughs> what, it's nothing better than, we're half our size. <laughs> Half our size, like a quarter. Actually, of our no, we size. are really short. So yes. Yeah, probably. About um, <laughs> it's probably about right. Yeah. So really, really bad. Yeah. But Gordon's doing quite well. He's doing very well. We've James is doing pretty well. Yeah. We've got a couple of little mm. snippets. Yeah. We have actually got to the top of some of the climbs. No, yeah. the competition one. No, the competition one. We did actually ones, get the top of some of them. Top of a couple. So, of, yeah. We're, we're, we've stopped for coffee. We've also learned that climbing shoes are really painful. painful. So we're gonna go and maybe attempt to do some more. We'll maybe. try another one or two, maybe. Yeah, maybe. See how far we get. Yeah, maybe. Hey, it's uh, Monday morning. It's raining lots. Mini Castle, I'm um, about to go into the RBI for my first um, appointment with the surgeon who will be doing my mastectomy and reconstruction. Um, so yeah, I'm not entirely sure what to expect. I am aware kind of of the surgeon because he's the same surgeon who's worked with my mum. Um, he's said to be very straightforward, um, but very good. So that's sounds good I quite I don't kind of want someone who's gonna like you know treat you with cotton wool it's kind of a case of just tell me what's gonna happen I need to know um so that's quite good but um yeah this is really where we found out if the date plap reconstruction wants even a possibility you know he could look and go no we can't do this yeah let's start planning for implant um if he says yes, day plot may be a possibility, we've still got to go through all the scans and things. So, yeah, this is kind of the. We've I've already sort of met the nurse and who is lovely. I've met Claire um, and done the first support group meeting, which is great. But this is kind of the first time really sort of meeting with the surgeon to say what his opinion is because he's the guy who's got to make all of the calls. And although yes, obviously I do get some saying it um you're a bit of an idiot if you ignore your surgeon because he knows what the heck he's doing and i've seen his work at the support group and he's really good um and he has a great reputation so yeah let's just see what he says and kind of hope for the best <laughs> hello so um i didn't record when i got out of my hospital appointment yesterday but just to let you all know what's happening um my consultant surgeon Mr. Collis is exactly as he was described to me, but he's great. No, so um, basically the outcome of that appointment is I have lots of options basically for um reconstruction. Um, I still want to go ahead with day flap, so that's the route we're going to go down initially. And I'm currently waiting an appointment for a CT scan to see if I have the right blood vessels in my stomach to do that. Um, yeah, and that's where that is. Um, 
obviously is where the BSO is happening in uh, two weeks time now um so that's all on track there so everything went really well um I found out one of my one of my boobs is an inch bigger than the other like what the is that about or an inch longer or they're just an inch odd I think <laughs> they don't look an inch odd but apparently they're, who cares they're coming off anyway <laughs> they're being replaced it's fine um so yeah so, so that happened um today I think I'm going to venture into Annick um there is a tourism fair market event happening in Annick um which we found out about quite last minute, but I think I'm going to grab some business cards and go down um, and see if there's anyone we can look at working with with regards to Historical Combat Company. That said, the calendar's pretty busy this year anyway, but there's always we can always do more work. I'm never going to complain about having too much work. <laughs> People in performance and entertainment never complain about having too much work. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to go down there and have a look at that. Mm -hmm.